Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to do a quick um, little spiel on different engine oil weights. Uh, it's becoming spring, it's warming up a little bit. A lot of times people will change their uh, oils depending on, on weather. And um, I want to talk a little bit about why we use different engine oil weights when we start modifying our cars. Um, it's not always necessary to use what the manufacturer recommends. Um, a couple things that come into play when you're looking at different oils, and these are some of the oils that I use. Um, this is what I'm running in the Cadillac, uh, the Ultra Platinum. It actually rates really high in film strength and um, uh, breakdown with temperatures. Um, if you guys actually watch Project Farms channel, you'll see he does a lot of testing with a couple of different uh, Platinum compared to uh, Ultra Platinum. The Ultra Platinum actually ranks really high. I've also been a big fan of Mobile One. I've ran a lot of this in my Camaro. I um, also want to talk to you guys about filters and um, some of the different things. And this is just what I run, the transmissions on T56, uh, you know, TR6060s, things like that, the GM uh, transmissions that require that uh, automatic transmission fluid. Pennzoil makes this synchro mesh that's really good stuff. Um, talking about your engine weight, your, uh, your oil weight for your engine. Um, You'll see these numbers, your, your 5W30, these are viscosity numbers, 040, this is actually, or 020, this is actually what's used in a Toyota Tacoma, um, brother-in-law's oil, just did his. Um, when you start modifying your car, such as um, we just did a turbo build, um, you guys will see that video coming up on Sierra's GMC. Uh, factory says, you know, put uh, 5W30 in that, that 5.3. Well, we were running that, and after um, some wide open throttle pulls, the engine oil is getting hotter, things like that. We notice we come to a stop, the engine oil, um, uh, the oil pressure is pretty low. Um, that's not because the motor's hurt, that's because the oil is getting too hot and it's breaking down, it's becoming watery. So, um, you know, that's a, mod that's a stock engine, but because of the turbo, that oil's feeding into the turbo and then draining back in, the turbo's really hot. It's heating that oil up, and over a period of time, the the total temperature of the oil is quite a bit hotter. So what we did to remedy that, you could either put big oil coolers, which I don't know how well you guys can see that on the Cadillac. So right behind there, you see AN lines. That's that's a big oil cooler. Um, also have some uh, big filters for capacity. Or these HP1 filters I actually run two of them. You guys see here. If you see our other video, I used to run the, the Wix filters, believe it or not. And um, I did a, a, a video kind of collab with Sac City Corvette and um, looked at these filters. And these are far superior in their build and the amount of pleats they have and, and all that. Um, so, but sorry, getting off track. If you start having uh, your engine modified where it's going to heat up the oil and it's requiring something like, uh, you know, 5W30 but you see your oil pressures are going down, bumping it up to like a 10W40, that's what we started running in the truck and the oil pressure stopped going so low. Um, the Camaro, when I was doing a, a lot of racing with it, I'd run a 1550, but the, the gaps, um, the, the uh, uh, bearing clearances were actually a little wider, so it needed something a little higher like this. Um, but in the Cadillac, I did have those issues where I did have to run a thicker oil, but since I put the oil cooler on and I run these big filters and these help dissipate heat too, my oil temperatures stopped getting so high. It actually, um, it doesn't quite get hot enough. So one of the mo mods I'm going to do in the future is a thermostat because now my oil temperatures only get up to about um, 180, usually 170, 180 which you think is good, but if it doesn't get hot enough, it's not gonna boil off any moisture in the oil, and that starts creating issues with uh, condensation, um, building up the, actually, you know, if you have moisture in your oil, it could, uh, you know, kind of rust the inside of the motor, per se. You could, you could get uh, rust spots on your bearings and things like that. Um, so I just wanna make that, that quick little video, um, something to think about when you're changing your oil. Um, now that's going to be getting hotter out, you might run a uh, thinner oil during the winter, but if you're going to do summer driving, um, especially with your race car, if you're running it hard, the, the added temperature, um, that might start to add up 
and uh, make your oil pressure lower so you actually fix that um, by putting a little bit thicker oil in it. It's gonna withstand that heat better because it's not gonna um, uh, thin out as easily. So um, that being said, hopefully this is helpful for you guys. If you have any questions or anything like that, just leave them down in the comments below. Um, don't forget to su subscribe to the channel as well as like. Thank you.